Hey y'all, it's the real PewDiePie here once again with another top five. This time it's Elden Ring's top five bosses. Now what I'm gonna judge this off of is just how much fun I had playing it and how it looks. Number five. Number five, we got Queen of the Full Moon. Now the first phase is nothing special. You start off with a cutscene where some bitch is sucking your toes, but first phase was easy enough. Three year old can do it if you really wanted to after one try yeah, he, he, he probably fucking first try bombing oh. but the good old fun is oh. in the second Ooh. phase which is honestly my favorite boss arena of the I game so far and it was a little enraging doing it the first time i'd say i was probably like level 50 or 60. and you know it's not bad it's just the spamming of spells the, uh, spamming of summons sure. like if she can summon a dragon, I want to summon a dragon. Where's my dragon at? Anyways, but, uh, you end up having to tank a few hits just to run up. I didn't spend too much long on this boss, so it didn't frustrate me to the point where it was no fun. But yeah, this boss was mainly eye candy for enjoyment. On to the next. Number four. Now we're here with the Ancestor Spirit. This one, big ol' eye candy. I don't really care too much about the boss arena, it just looks a little swampy with a little bit of foggy. But, the own boss design, I love it. Some of his move sets are just amazing. But, I took him out pretty easy, so it he lost points for that. I feel like at the level I was at this point, I really shouldn't have tanked him this good. But yeah, uh, not much to say besides, on to the next one. Number three, <laughs> we got my man, Radon. <coughs> Radon. Man. Yes, I summoned people. Had well, that, that don't matter. You the Radon, right I, I, I heard he recently got a nerf, so that's big old sad, so I don't know. I haven't refaced him after it, but apparently uh, it's noticeable. But this was the opposite of what I was saying from the Ancestor Spirit. I had a bitch of a time in, in the beginning of this shit. And at first I didn't even know you could summon people. But now if you uh, listen to this right here on the to where on one of the attempts it just happened to be the attempt I beat him on. Just listen to the beginning of it. Hey! It just really gave me the punishment I thought I might have just deserved for all my life choices. But for whatever bullshit gravity magic this boy got for this tiny ass horse to carry his ass. He got some eye appealing moves. I like seeing his gravity shit. And when he came down as a meteor boy, that shit just... It was one of the beginning bosses I did. I thought he was required to do it. But he was optional. So I, I just loved finding that out. This boss I also did like around between 40 and 60. It, it, it was just so great P putting myself through torment and uh, for the first like half of the game I didn't have internet and uh, I couldn't have any homies help me out. I can go in the party chat off a of hotspot so I can see hear them helping each other. But yeah, no, I, I was stuck doing this shit by myself and over I'm more proud of it. But yeah, that's my number three. Number two. We got the mimic tier boss fight now the, one of the main reasons i hey, love to have this fight when i first encountered i wasn't even expecting it i, I saved the spoiler for myself it just gave me that good old classic legend of zelda dark link in the water temple gods man was dark link in it i'm trying to think well anyway fuck that this ain't a zelda video that's one of the main inspirations and you also get to find kind of see if you have any little weaknesses i don't know it's just a mirrored image version of you your armor and all spells and you can just see how badass you are from another rank all right not much to say since it's just an exact copy of you and so on to number one number one oh boy while doing the ranny's quest you have to deal yourself with the good old hey, motherfucking Astel. Asshole, Castiel, whatever. 
Now, this boy gave me some problems. I, I'm not even gonna lie. I had to look up a method <laughs> to cheese a fucking in the beginning, and I don't know. Using his own attack against him, fighting fire with fire worked, but no. This, this boss just looks crazy. It actually threw me off because it seemed like there was a theme in the bosses so far. Oh, like, Lord. it almost felt like a reoccurring theme how each of them looked. And then this boy, when he okay, came with this galaxy bitch. ass room, teleports, raining meteors, Kamehameha beam straight from the fucking dome, this boss was a lot to handle. He gave me problems. Everything looked amazing. His attacks himself. And he's a scary boy. He a big boy, you know? You, you fight him in your bedroom a couple times. No more horror movies gonna scare you just cause look at this motherfucker. You but no, uh, I don't remember around the level I did this, but yeah, it was definitely one of those punishing bosses to learn. That's my top five bosses. If you don't like my opinion, well, guess what? Fuck you, it's my opinion. But what you can do is tell me what you think in the comments below. Tell me your top five. And, wh and if you want to explain why, go ahead. I don't know. I'll read them. Alright, I hope you enjoyed, and if you want more top fives, comment suggestions, or like this video, and then I'll decide when to do one when I do one. Alright. Ah. Don't worry about it. Focus on subscribing to Silent Ace. If you don't, you're probably gonna be a sussy baka. Don't let that happen. Ever. Woods out. Subscribe.